Hello everyone, Shri from Masjid Seed IT here. Today I would like to show you how to download, install and use 7-Zip, a free and powerful alternative to WinZip, WinRAR and the built-in Windows archiving solution. For this demonstration, I'm using Mozilla Firefox as my browser. The process would be identical if you were to use Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge or any other browser. If you're going to search for the download, enter 7-Zip as a search term and you will get a result that looks like this. You will notice that the very first link is the download page for the official 7-Zip website, which is www.7-zip.org. Clicking on this link will take you to the download page. Whether you end up on the download page from a search result or browse to the home page directly, please make sure that you're not paying for the software and that you also download 7-Zip from the official website so that you won't fall victim to a malware infected version. Whether it is a download page or the home page, you just need to focus on the 32-bit and 64-bit versions for Microsoft Windows. You will notice that 7-Zip is available for all versions of Microsoft Windows and some other operating systems as well. Because I have the 64-bit version of Windows 10, I'm going to download the 64-bit version of 7-Zip. The current version is 18.01. I'll click Save and save it to this folder that I've created for the demo. When the download is complete, I can either run the installer from here or I can actually directly run it from where I saved the installer. I'm going to double click and run it. And Windows user account control is going to prompt me to install the software. That's what the installer looks like. The installation is quick and straightforward. You will notice that 7-Zip does not install any icons on the desktop. The quickest way to check if 7-Zip has been correctly installed is to select any file and right click and you will see the 7-Zip option listed. For this demo, I am going to use these two Crowded House songs, two of my favorites and songs from a CD that I own and create a zip file with the built-in Windows utility. And I'm going to name it test1.zip. To extract an archive with 7-zip, select the file, choose 7-zip, and use any one of these options. This one will give you a few choices as to where you want to save the file. This one will extract the files in the archive into the same location as where the archive is and this one will allow you to create a subfolder with the name of the archive test one in this case so I'm going to choose that as an option and so you can see that it's created a folder called test one and there are the two files that I created test one dot zip from if you wanted to create an archive with 7-Zip. The process is fairly straightforward. Select the files, right click, choose 7-Zip and use any one of these options. This one gives a few choices and as you can see it's a bit much for ordinary users so I rarely use these options but it's there in case you want to play around with it. In my case I'm just going to use 7-Zip to just create a .zip format archive and you will see a process like that it's fairly quick and there's the zip file that I just created using 7-zip and that's all folks if you found this video helpful please leave a like and a comment subscribe if you'd like to be notified when we add other useful videos like this thanks for watching